You're hungry. Hey, I've got shit in my fridge. What are you going to make? You make calzones, apparently. Today's recipe is one of those ones that I just came up with because I didn't know what the hell else to make. That's what we're going to do on Cooking Under the Influence. Cue jazzy theme song. Hello and welcome to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your host and chef du jour. I'm Sean, you are not. I started drinking without you. Sorry. Today's drink is plain old white wine. <laughs> Until the wine runs out and then it'll be, I don't know, probably martinis or something. Yay! This is one that I came up with because I was hungry and I had like a lonely chicken breast or something in my fridge. I'm like, oh, what do I do with this? This is very sad. I have a live studio audience today. Ugh, Riesling. It's great for dessert. That's about it. You like Riesling. I don't know what that's like. It's like Welch's grape juice fortified with sugar. The thing about wine is people get to be wine snobs and they have no business being a wine snob. Pinot Grigio, sure, why not? I've shown you how to make a glass of wine. Did you take notes? I hope so, because it was very complicated. And you have these people that say, oh, the bouquet, it's like, it reminds me of honeysuckle and grapefruits. Ooh. Something of an aroma of chocolate and old leather. I swish around their mouth like they fucking know what they're doing, and they don't. Mothballs. It's like a gay bar to me. It does sound kind of like a gay yeah. bar, doesn't it? <laughs> All you have to do is put a cardboard box wine into the fancy schmancy bottle, and they think, oh, this is just the best thing I've ever had. This must be, what, $60 a glass? Connoisseurs. Get on my nerves. Oh, gosh, I've really gotten bitter, and I just started. Anyway, so let's make some food. Let's get cooking. <coughs> if you We're gonna get a pot. This is the exciting part, filling the pot with water. Cooking 101, pot of water on stove, boil. Turn the stove on, that's the key part. Salt is magical. It makes water boil faster, but it also makes stuff cold. I could tell you why, but we'll just go with magical. Do you know what parboil means? We're gonna parboil our chicken. Parboil. Parboil means partially boil. Hell, you just put the chicken into the freaking water. It's not rocket science, people. Ooh, I am bitter today. God, when did I get in such a bad mood? By the way, do you know what the title of the theme song to Jeopardy is? Do, 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 do. Think about it and I'll tell you later. All right, you're only gonna leave your chicken in there for a few minutes. We're just partially boiling it. We're not fully cooking it. So you have a fly on your head. Ooh. Or something. Strong work, sir. This is what parboiled chicken looks like, pale and scary. By the way, parboiling is excellent if you're going to grill chicken or fry it. So that way you can fry it nice and quick and it's going to cook quickly without burning it, making it tough. And if you are a Yankee up north, you would just take and put it on, on the dinner table now. <laughs> <laughs> you can make your own dough. I just got Pillsbury dough. On the line. Ah, it explodes. I love that part. Everybody loves that part. Uh, so. Facebook, yeah, because that's so exciting. Yeah. Look at me, Julia Child with a fucking rolling pin. Roll it out. Okay, you know what? Julia Child was right when she said, never use a rolling pin. They're useless. <laughs> Spread the shit out with your hands. <laughs> Preheat your oven. Four, 420. Why not? Spinach! Fresh spinach. I don't have any spinach to grow in the garden right now, so I have to go buy some. How pedestrian. Spinach has a lot of spinach. It turns into nothing, remember. I had a choke hearts. 
Let's get some artichoke hearts, because that shit is good. Get a little artichoke hearts. Spoon that over the spinach. Okay, get you some provolone cheese. This is just store-bought cheese. It's nothing fancy. Church lady. Put your faith in Jesus. That was terrible. Hey, you criticize my puns, huh? <laughs> Doesn't this look lovely? Yes, it does. Chicken. Slice it up. Chop it. Make it nice and small. Spread that Ooh. onto your whatever we're going to call this. Dinner. Dinner. Sure. I'm not using a red sauce, tomato sauce. You could, you could totally do that. You know, this is, like I said, this is one of those recipes that's just like, oh, I don't know what the fuck I want to make, so I'm making this. I'm going to cheat yet again and add some all-purpose Greek seasoning because it's really good. Some garlic. Yes. Add some garlic on there. Do they sell garlic in St. Louis? I don't know. I don't think so. That's another reason I don't want to go there. A little bit of salt. Add some salt. I'm just using pepper dust just because I'm freaking lazy and I don't feel like twisting the freaking thing. Clearly not a calzone. This is basically a Subway sandwich. I'm making a calzone. Remember I said get two of these things. Remember that part? Let's see if I can do it with my thumb. Oh, I did it! <laughs> Spread it out. All right, let's take this, put it across our little, whatever that thing is. I'm pulling the bottom layer up to the top layer. The bottom dough, rather, up to the top dough. I'm going to try and get this to close up. That seems to have worked out actually quite well. I am rather impressed. Pillsbury. That looks pretty darn good. It closed up nicely. That may or may not be a real calzone, but you know what we're going to call it? Tonight it'll be a calzone. Tonight it's a calzone. Tonight. Put the whole thing in there. Great. And drink it. 20 minutes. Let's cook it for that long. Golden brown. Oh, uh, it kind of split apart right here. But you know what? We'll take it. Spinach, artichoke, or chicken, cheese. <laughs> Let's see how it does. The chicken, artichoke, or spinach, and cheese calzone. I'll call it a calzone. I don't know what it fucking really is. Oh, God, that's delicious. This is really good. Definitely try it. Super easy. Enjoy your, we're going to call it a calzone. My friend Mark, he's the first person I ever met that knew what the title of that song is. I am special. Bon appétit and adios.